Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing a skincare review and in particular we are going to be reviewing this brand new mask that I purchased recently from the Sephora sale. This is the Youth to the People Super Clay Purify and Clear Power Mask. If this is something you are interested in learning a little bit more about then make sure you keep on watching and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I can't recall ever purchasing anything from the brand Youth to the People in the past. I believe I've received a couple of samples in my previous Sephora orders for their products, but I don't think I've gotten around to actually using them. So when this mask popped up on the Sephora website, my curiosity was piqued primarily because of the ingredient list. I was really impressed with the amount of different clays that were embedded into this mask. I love that it had a high percentage of niacinamide that's at 2% and it also has additional BHAs in there. This is definitely going to be a mask that I think will be suited for my skin type. I do have oily and combination skin. As you can see, I have rosacea. That's why my face is constantly red in my videos. I also deal with large pores, acne, acne scarring, and texture on top of a lot of skin sensitivity and that's primarily because of my rosacea. So when it comes to skincare and different masks, I am very particular about what goes on this face. Ingredient lists become really important to me because I need to know if they're going to be effective and if it's worth putting my skin through a little bit of torture, if you know what I mean. This mask retails for $47 at Sephora Canada and the website describes it as a powerful clarifying treatment with niacinamide that actively clears the complexion, visibly reduces pores, and it helps even your skin tone. Like I said, there is volcanic white and French green clays in here. There's also kale and clay, and that's going to help with a lot of the oil absorption. There's 2% niacinamide, which is going to help improve the clarity of your skin, so it's going to help fight those breakouts. There is salicylic acid in here as well, which I'm also very appreciative of, and there's a ton of BHAs, which is just going to help unclog your pores, essentially. The funny thing about the ingredient list on this box is that it is incorrect, and <laughs> so inside is this orange card that I'm holding upside down. Um, essentially, Youth to the People wrote a little message saying that they printed the ingredient list incorrectly on the box. And so instead of creating more waste by reprinting or rendering this carton unrecyclable by over labeling, they decided to include this ingredient list uh, inside the box, which is perfectly fine by me. The only other thing that came in the box is this little pamphlet here that essentially just gives you a little more information about the mask. This mask is made in the USA and it does have a shelf life of 12 months if that matters to you. And if I'm being entirely truthful with you, I have used this mask twice before. I did want to give it a couple of test runs before I came on camera to film this video because I wanted to give you some more comprehensive thoughts. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to speak to the long-term results or benefits of this mask. I just, I actually can't unless I jump into the future somehow. Um, but I am going to tell you my current experience with it and how it interacts with my skin. So without any further ado, I'm going to get this hair up because I am extremely hot at the moment with my ring light and I also just don't want the mask to get into my hair. Here is the product itself. It comes in this beautiful glass jar and then when you open it up, that's what it looks like on the inside. It doesn't smell like much of anything. I mean, if I had to describe it scent it just kind of smells like clay <laughs> but there's no other fragrance in there that is identifiable I personally like to apply this mask with a foundation brush this happens to be a really old Sephora Sephora Pro foundation brush. This is the number 47 brush. I've just gotten into the habit of using these brushes when I apply any type of mask that comes in this type of container. It just helps keep my fingers a little more clean. I am going to now pull you in for the application so you can see my skin and what it looks like before. It's a little angry at me at the moment, so please don't be super judgy in the comments. Ever since I started wearing a mask, I definitely get a lot of breakouts around this particular area here. And and it doesn't look pretty. So I'm very hopeful that this mask here is going to help clear some of that up today. This is about as close as my camera can get at this very moment. So let's quickly take a look at my skin. It 
it looks pretty awful at the moment, right? Meh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> but let's go ahead and start applying this mask. Now, I'm gonna have to get a mirror out, but I'm gonna pick up a generous amount of product on my brush. And I guess I'm gonna start in the most irritated part of my face, which is down here. It feels very, very cooling as I start spreading this onto my skin. It's quite nice. This doesn't feel like a very thick clay mask either. It's quite thin actually in terms of its consistency, which I really like. It's essentially going to make the removal process a little bit easier. In some of the reviews that I have read, people have said that this is a good spot treatment mask as well. So for those who don't want to put it on their entire face the way I'm doing it right now, you can just put this on top of blemishes to help combat them, uh, I guess, in the evenings when you're doing your skincare routine. So that's a pretty good option. As you can see, the mask is on and it feels pretty pretty good on my skin. It's nice and cooling. I don't feel any weird sort of tingling sensations anywhere on my face. It just feels like a regular clay mask. I am supposed to keep this on for the next 10 minutes, so I'm gonna pop off camera at the moment, and when I'm getting ready to wash it off, I will pop back on and let you know what's going on. I am back, and 10 minutes into wearing this mask, I definitely feel it hardening on my skin. Um, it is feeling a little bit itchy around this area here, um, but it wasn't feeling itchy when I wasn't talking, so I think me moving is just irritating my skin a little bit. Um, you can definitely see it's dry down in some areas, but where I have applied it a little bit more uh, thickly, like around here, it's still a little bit wet, but nevertheless, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, rinse this off, and then we're gonna take a look at my skin. I am back with freshly washed skin. This is what it looks like now that I've taken the mask off. Let me know if you see any differences with the before and after, and I'm gonna put some side-by-sides here so you guys can really compare. I can definitely say that I do see some of my pores having tightened um, just around this area here where they're normally a little bit larger. I've also noticed that some of my whiteheads that were down here are now gone, so that's, I guess, something. My skin definitely feels a lot tighter. As you can tell, the mask hasn't really done anything for my redness that still exists. And there is actually a disclaimer on the box here. It does say, due to the active nature of the formula, some flushing may occur. So that is normal if it does happen. I actually really like that they put that on the box so it doesn't freak anybody out. I mean, overall, the mask feels pretty good. I do like what it is currently doing for my skin. I definitely want to use it a little more on the regular over the next few weeks to see if I do notice even more benefits from it. I'm just going to make myself feel a little bit prettier by putting my hair down at the moment. Um, so in terms of ranking this mask, I have tried several clay masks in the past. There's a good one from L'Oreal that I really like that's quite affordable. It's around the $10 mark. I'd say this one is better than L'Oreal. I'd say it's on par with my Origins Out of Trouble mask. This one here is a staple of mine. I absolutely adore it. I'd say this one is probably better than my Ole Henriksen one. This is the Cold Plunge Pore Mask. Um, yeah, I'd say this is better, although I'll have to play around with it a little bit more. And I'd also say this one here is better than the Innisfree mask, the Volcanic Pore Clearing Mask. I think that's what it's called. It comes in that brown tub. I've used that in the past as well. I don't think that one has as many active ingredients as this one does. And really, that's what gives this mask the edge of, I think, 
all the products I've talked about except for the Origins one. Um, I think this has such a good ingredient list. It is probably worth the investment. I don't know if I can comfortably say I recommend this mask because I haven't used that enough to say 100% that I absolutely love it. I also don't want to say it's a hard pass either because so far I haven't had any adverse reactions to it. But overall, I do enjoy using it and I also look forward to the coming weeks to see if I experience any other results because of this. And so I will keep you posted on my experience. And that's going to do it for this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you feel like keeping up with me outside of YouTube, you are always welcome to do that by following me on all of my social media, which will be linked for you in the description box below. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you are all having an incredible day no matter where you are in the world. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.